Uh, it doesn't have any kind of, you know, latches on this side. Uh, if you want to kind of look at it, maybe give me a, eh, we'll just say that you look at it as part of your perception check. Cut the rolls down. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like it's locked. It doesn't look like it even has a locking mechanism on the door. Oh, okay, so it swings forward or do I pull it uh, it'll, it'll push in. Uh, there, this door looks pretty normal. You want to give it a the shot? There's sure. We did hear goblins on the other side, so be prepared. Push the door open and enter the room. Yeah. After what we saw in this room, I'm afraid to look in. Alright. I'll move this for you. Door comes open. Swing it open. Can't see anything right now except for, you know, basically more of the the green rubble. And you now you everyone plain as day, you can hear uh two goblins probably bickering with one another. All right, so as you enter the room, get them, Dirk. Get them. You can see two tables with benches, basically scattered around. This is a mess hall. All right. Now you can see decayed food on the on the table, and all kinds of feces, uh, basically on the benches. Has a bad smell in here, and to the to you know basically on the northern side of this front table you can see the two goblins that are here. Let's go ahead and roll initiative again. And you can see another door straight across from where you're at. Not a crit. Very nice. Looks like Boris is taking a nap. Yeah, Vey, you're up first. Little wimpy right. level I don't one see goblins. Anything. Yeah, you can see. Once you get in there, you'll be able to see. Right. Well, I'm following behind dirt, so I would not go in. Okay. Big dirt, you're up. And I'll grab the edge of the table and shove it. <laughs> nice. Give me a give me a strength check, and I'll even add, let you add in your your athletics also. You can you can add that in also, Big Dirt. Your uh, no, not athletics. It's not athletics. I'm sorry. It would be uh, just give me a strength check. I'm still in five E mode. Sorry, guys. So the uh, the two goblins kind of resist it, and you're not able to push the table. So we'll t we'll say that was your standard action. Uh, you moved in, and that's pretty much it for you. So Cade, okay. that uh, that is your turn now, Cade. Okay. Yeah, more direct diagonal movement. You're not a fan of the diagonal movement, huh? No, I'm just getting used to it. Yeah, we're going to 5e. 5e is going to this type of movement also, so... For show. You can see a couple goblins. Stinks pretty bad in here. You know, you can see another table uh, beyond the goblins. More of the, you know, the green material on the ground, whatever this is. I'll go ahead and lob another orb of acid at this one. Uh, on the left? Yes. It is flat-footed, so you're attacking flat-footed AC, which is uh, uh, a hit. So you hit him for one damage. Wow. Cool. It was... 
It wasn't the acid that he was expecting. It's like some apple juice. Yeah. Or strong vinegar. Well, that's all I can do. I, can't I don't hear know you, if Dave. you're talking or not, but you're... Yeah, I'm muted. Wow, okay. why am I muted? Have, have I been muted the whole time? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, my since god. Dirk, since Dirk turned over the table or I whatever. Wow, I don't even remember oh muting myself. I am getting pretty tired, so sorry about that. Ah, sorry. Uh, Goblin moved in, attacked Big Dirt, missed with a 5 versus armor class. That's it, Lad Dog. Your turn. You can hear a lot of activity now uh, as you know it's coming out of the doorway. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to mute myself. It's no kinda, problem. Kind of weird. Hmm. I need to get a big face palm for myself on that. It's all right. We'll kill you and find another DM. Yeah, that's cool. Put me, <laughs> put me out of my misery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dirt DM. Oh, I, that I, is the crit fail. Our first of Pathfinder. <laughs> yeah, basically what we're going to do is you just forfeit the rest of your turn. I don't have a Pathfinder. Uh, I don't have anything like that planned for a couple weeks, so you're still safe for a couple weeks. Alright. Before I get a wheel of the misfortune. Crit fumble so. cards. Yeah. Yeah. I do have a set. I have access to them if you want me to. To the Pathfinder like ones? That. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, if you have access to them, let's see what one would be, real quick. All right. Just give me one second. Is it is a deck of cards? That's pretty cool. I might have. Yeah, to get it's a deck them. of cards. I might get those. Wow. You use those in your public play? Uh, no. Uh, it's not sanctioned. You can't really do that. No. Oh. Well, let's say with you just gotta be sanctioned. <laughs> right. Sorry, man. Got to be sanctioned. Get your yeah. get your hand slapped for having fun. They even have a crit hit deck. Wow, you got both. Yep. I'm like jealous, dude. Break you open the Pathfinder game. Yeah, yeah, it's, that's nope. what it sounds like. Just have I said I have access to them. I don't have them. Oh, okay. Oh, you don't have so a like deck? the first one. Uh, so it's a melee hit, right? Mm -hmm. So the attack hits you and there's a critical threat, a critical mistake. The attack hits you and there's a critical threat. You must roll to confirm the critical hit. Oh. Mm. So you crit yourself. Wow, that would be yeah. pretty vicious. That's kind of vicious. I might have to use that. Uh, cool. It was arranged. Whoops. You knock, you're knocked prone. Uh, if it's n natural, out of position, you can't use this attack for one round. And then magic, it's mind drain. You take 1d4 points of damage to int, wisdom, and charisma determined randomly. Oh, oh god. Wow. I have a let's, couple decks. I have, use those. I have urban PCC, urban NPCs, and I have a, a, like a plot twist deck. But I'm going to have to go to the game store. I'll get those too. You said there's a critical hit one and a and a fall. Maybe yep, I'll maybe I'll do fumble. this, and I'll just have the cards here, and we can do it quickly with the cards. So that would be pretty cool. All right, so I'll do that. All right, so let's see. Next up is the goblin. This this goblin here is using a bow. He is using a short bow, and he he is going to be firing at big squirts also. I'll be attacking regular armor class because you've already attacked, so no big deal. And 14 versus armor class, which basically you just kind of see the arrow coming and the arrow sticks in your shield. So, Alright, 
I'm going to go ahead and do a, a little movement with this booger too. I'm going to move back about 10 feet. And that's just so he can stay within range. Alright, so now it's Boris's turn. Um, he's guarding me. Okay, so still going to guard? Two. Okay. Ve, you are up, Ve. Lots of commotion going on in the in the room now. Definitely appears to be a mess area. Tables, food, feces all over the seat. Consta, um, thank you very much for the follow, Consta. Want to get up in I there. appreciate it. On the you want to get up on the table? Yeah. Sure, it'll just charge you like what double movement to get on top on top of the table, or unless you want to well, jump. Uh, what direction are you going to do it to? Because I think that kind of matters too. I want mm -hmm. to jump right there. Okay, well, hmm. Let's see, how how much have you already moved? Tw uh, 10 feet. 10, 10, 10 feet, so it'd be a total of 25 feet to get on top of the table, right? You uh, got 25 movement, you can get up there if you got 25. I have 20 movement. I thought that was... T oh, you were going with the double movement thing? Yeah. Alright, I'll stay right there. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure how it is in Pathfinder. It's something that uh, I've got written down that I'm going to look up. So. You know what? I'm going to use these shiny new darts. I'm going to throw one at him. Oh, are you going to throw one at the one closest to you? I only see one. Yeah, that's all we see is just one. <laughs> yeah, I just see this one. Yeah, there's start standing there's, on one. there's one right around back here. Oh, okay. We don't I see guess. that one. <laughs> he, yeah, he well, yeah, he ran off and off into the edge of the darkness. So. All right. Yeah, I'm going to. Uh, throw hey, what's a up, Orcus? Good to see you, man. Haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, back away. We wouldn't know that, but Dirt would probably know that. But yeah, we don't see that. That probably does not hit. You know what? It does not on that goblin. It does not hit. I'm sorry. One of your uh, one of your darts is gone. Gone forever. Ah, oh, very cool. Thanks, Constib. I appreciate it. Now you can go pick it up. Just uh, don't forget to pick it up. Okay. I think the dart is a little bit different. Unless it says, does it say it's a one-use item or? Well, it's a thrown weapon. I thought thrown weapons you could. You could get, get back. back, yeah. I think arrows and pathfinder are one use. I think right? ammo you can't. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, you can get it back. They's like so they, don't price, have use they of, better be. They don't, they don't have uh, the ammunition that you only get half of what you expend back. Oh well, and he would have had cover there too. I think. What the one out in the darkness? No, that's the guy there. So I definitely missed him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to get the feats and all to be able to shoot through people and all. Yeah, because you're gonna you're gonna take the the ranged. That's the one thing about Pathfinder that that was new for me. Also, reading was shooting into groups of people. Uh, you know, it's like a big minus. It's like I think it's like yeah. minus two or something. Because you have to be careful not to shoot their ally. Yeah, well, I think it's isn't it like minus two per person or something like that? No, it's minus four. If uh, if you have an ally within melee range of it, okay. then there's additional cover too if you're shooting through people. Yeah, yeah, that's what I that's what I was saying. I I think it would be like minus eight, wouldn't it, because of the cover? Mm. It would be a, a ridiculous. Uh, I think know, just four right here. Negative. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to look that up. Let's we'll write that on but, the list. But still, also. I did not hit. Yeah. Big squirt. You're up. Back up to the top of the order. Well, after Vay, anyways. Big squirt, big squirt the daring. So I'm going to go ahead and take that attack of opportunity against you as you move away. <laughs> so when you, when you move from here to here, the goblin yeah. gets a free attack on you. I expected on you. that. Yeah. You're trying to pull one past me. I like that. Uh, he's attacking you with the, the short sword. Uh, and, of course, he misses anyway, so you can continue with your movement. And you can start to see this goblin uh, on the fringe of the darkness to the north. Oh, boy, there he is. You got him. Uh, there you go. 
Attack away, sir. Yeah. That's a hit. Poor bastard. Oh. The tank just plows on through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he does. Yeah, you decapitate oh. the goblin. The goblin goes down one swing. It's dead. Big head rolls. That's how you do it. <laughs> Cade, you're up. <laughs> That's how you do oh, it. Oh, man. Well. Sanders, what's up, buddy? Haven't seen you in a while. How's, uh, how's work going, man? Nice max damage. Good to see you. I'll just toss the acid at him. Yeah, you just toss uh, death his way. He goes down. Oh, okay. You toss death his way. He is done. His goose is cooked. You guys are out of combat. Gonna search this goblin. Yeah, I'll search this one. Going to grab my turret and start pacing off this room. <laughs> Vey, you are on top of it. Yeah, there's another, another. I'd say, couple more silver per character. Not much. Eight, five, two, four. Eight, five, ten, well, last four. one was eight, so... And she's using graph paper, dude. Nerd alert! Nerd <laughs> alert! Danger! Danger! <laughs> I, did, I, I did the same thing, man, all the time. My, my I DM... I have uh, easel board graph paper that I can start using. Ooh, nice. Wow, that is... That's good, too. My DM used to get pissed, because I'd have, uh, you know, paper... Cause we we didn't he he didn't like it. I'd be over there scribbling down. No, he goes, Mike, "What are you doing? Uh, nothing. <laughs> A fucking math." Well, see, my character has paper, and that's why I'm doing this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd be mapping the room. Yeah, I got pen and I got paper also. So yeah, I'd be writing that. down what we saw here, what we saw there. <laughs> All right. Try and listen to hit this door. This door, you hear whatever your perception roll tells me. Okay. Oh, I, like, yeah, I like the way that I did these doors instead of the rest of my map. So. All right, so on the other side of this door, you can hear a faint sound of, like, bubbling. That's what you can hear. Oh, and this this is the spa. Yeah, it is. And we're going to go ahead and call it here for the night, guys, because uh, it's a good stopping point for me. So. All right. All Sounds right, good. Yeah, Ooh, River Rat. A little bit first. Yeah, yeah sorry. Uh, this is the Roper Room. No, no, it's not the Roper Room. Oh. No, it's just, uh, <laughs> no, I just got a, I've got quite a few things I have to do before I go to bed tonight, so we'll, we'll, uh, we'll call it here, so. All right, Thanks, all for playing. Uh, let's see. You can you. you can go ahead and get uh, another uh, four five hundred divided by four one twenty five a piece. So. All right. Now, are you sure? Because they don't divide it in Pathfinder. Or <laughs> you are killing me, Bay. All of a sudden. No, I'm not wanting more. I just want to make sure you're not making that mistake. No, it's uh, no, it's not. You're good to go. You are good to go, Vay. Eh? No, it was just for it's the quest rewards. Each. Yep. yep. Just for the quest each, rewards. Or? 125 apiece. Yep. Right, 19, 25. <laughs> Vases. Are you sure? I don't want to have to level up a character ten minutes before we start playing again. Yeah. Don't mind, I'll do that. So I used the combat tracker program tonight. Worked pretty good. Oh, how'd that work? Worked pretty good. I just kind of queued up all the all the different goblins and goblin dog and stuff and. I don't know. I don't know if I like it. I, I, I think I might have to buy the Beastieries because I like books. 
you know what I mean? I like to have the book right there. I can just grab it. I don't have to, you know, fiddle with a screen and a monitor. I can just kind of have everything already, you know, paged yeah, but already. Your, your monitor space is kind of limited, so yeah, I can is. understand that might be a problem. Yeah, I have three monitors. Unless I add a fourth monitor, then I could do combat tracker, maybe on on top of my my 44. But I don't know. It would just be a little too cumbersome. I, I think three monitors is enough, so. <clears throat> yeah. Three is enough. I'm just gonna, I think I'm just going to go ahead. What I could do is either I could do one of two things. I mean, I can print the monsters out and kind of build my own monsters using the SRD or I can get the monster man. I, I really don't want to buy the bestiary, so I might just go ahead and print them out using Combat Tracker because you can print that stuff out. So I, I, that's what I think I'll probably do, and then I'll just start yeah, putting it in order. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, I'll just put it in order and, and, and grow it. To flip through. Yeah. You can just yeah. pull up the ones that you need for the encounter. Yep, and when I'm done, I can just put them one in with the other ones and kind of use them later down the line. So, all right, y'all. Thanks for uh, playing. All the XP has been out. River Rat, thanks again for playing for Dirt. I appreciate it, man. No problem. I hope yeah, Big thanks, Dirt's. Uh, Great maps. Yeah. Oh, thanks. It's a, uh, it's a really I didn't cool. Kill him, so. mm, <laughs> it's a really cool uh, story. I, I do like the story. So. I still feel like he should have given out a little bit more gold. <laughs>